Welcome to lecture 4. As in the previous lecture, we discussed how the transformation coordinates uh, take place and uh, how the differentiation in the summation form can be written that all complex things in uh, just a formula type of thing and uh, the summation can be dropped for uh, Einstein formulation convention sorry <clears throat> so today we will just uh, explore more about tensor tensor is uh, related with the rotational motion basically and it can be defined in terms of rotation tensors uh, first type I want to discuss is covariant tensor covariant tensor okay so let us suppose let us suppose the transformation equation the transformation equation from Cartesian coordinates in uh, three dimension x y z to to the u1 u2 u3 and u1 bar u2 bar u3 bar these are other two systems in which the transformation is taking place from x y z and uh, this transformation is given by like this x is equals to x1 x is a function of uh, x1 function of u2 u3 that's how the transformation from x2 u1 u2 u3 y for x1 u1 u2 u3 z for uh, z1 u1 u2 u3 and uh, the transformation in bar coordinates is given as x is equals to x2 u1 bar u2 bar u3 bar y equals to y2 u1 bar u2 bar u3 bar z equals to z2 u1 bar u2 bar and u3 bar and their inverse can be written as u1 is equals to u1 x y z u2 it is a function of x y z which is easily predictable and can be known from here u3 u3 x y z is simply given like that and same for u1 bar u1 bar also a function of x y z u2 bar u2 bar x y z u3 bar u3 bar function of x y z so there must exist a, a transformation directly from <coughs> there will be a transformation directly from u1 u2 u3 to u1 bar u2 bar and u3 bar uh, say uh, this transformation be like u1 bar u1 u2 u3 and u2 bar u2 bar u1 u2 and u3 function of <coughs> u3 bar u3 bar u1 u2 and u3 on differentiating this all uh, u1 bar uh, I am uh, on differentiating all this u1, u2, and u3 bar, 
with respect to x what will I got x. here uh, I'm not considering this 1 2 and 3 uh, it is easily known that P here stands from 1 2 and 3 and then curl u bar P is a uh, u1 curl u1 x plus curl u bar p curl uh, u2 curl u2 by curl x plus curl u bar p curl u3 curl u3 by curl x <coughs> same for uh, the y if we differentiate this all this u1 u1 uh, bar u2 by u3 bar with respect to y we will get p bar curl y curl bar p curl u1 curl u1 over y i hope you know that why i'm writing this because u1 bar is a function of u1 u2 u3 and u1 is a function of x y and z okay uh, and uh, u bar p u2 u2 y <coughs> plus curl u bar p curl u3 curl u3 by same form curl u bar p um, see if you want to learn how i'm writing this so please pause this video here and try to write uh, this last step on your own so that you can uh, know how i'm uh, doing this and this will also be a practice uh, for you I'm differentiating with respect to z. So uh, now, by the definition of a gradient, by the definition, definition of gradient, we have <coughs> c1. Well, these are just uh, the coefficients u1, c1 del u1 plus c2 del u2 plus c3 del u3. These are just the scalar components c1, c2, and c3, and this whole can be uh, written as c1 curl u1 over curl x plus c2. I'm just taking the i cap components from this one, this one, and this one, and uh, it will look like this c3 curl u3 over curl x. I get. hope you get it uh, c1 curl u1 over curl y plus c2 curl u over curl y and uh, c3 curl u over curl z sorry curl y this u1 and u2 and this is from u3 okay this is in j gap and uh, the last one component k component c1 curl u1 over curl z from here c2 curl u2 over curl z from this component and c3 curl u3 over curl z i j k and k okay now same thing applicable as we are from unprimed uh, um, <coughs> u1 u2 u3 and c1 c2 c3 same for the bar ones c1 bar c1 bar del u1 bar plus c2 del u2 bar plus c3 del u3 bar 
and uh, again this can be written as uh, by separating all the components from here just collecting the i components and then j components and the k components uh, so if you want to learn something again then please pause this video here and uh, try to write this step again on your own okay i'm writing this bar curl x from here plus c2 bar curl u2 bar over curl x plus c3 curl u2 bar over curl x C1 bar, C2 bar, curl U2 bar over curl Y plus C3 bar, curl U3 bar over curl Y J component C1 bar, curl U1 bar over curl Z plus C2 bar, curl U2 bar over curl Z plus C3 bar, U3 bar over curl Z and okay the kth component now uh, a vector a vector uh, a is represented say represented in two coordinates in uh, two coordinates coordinate system as uh, vector say a vector a is represented in two coordinates as a in both coordinate it uh, has the same value c1 del 1 c2 del u2 c3 del u3 is equals to c1 bar del u1 bar c2 bar del u3 bar <coughs> Uh, so now there's just uh, equating um, both this equation and uh, our previous this equation here <coughs> what you will get just uh, comparing uh, the i j k components you will get c1 curl u1 over curl x plus c2 curl u2 over curl x plus c3 curl u3 over curl x equals to this component of the ith component okay and this thing i'm getting from here ith component of this i'm putting here <coughs> so equating the ith component i get c1 bar curl u1 bar x plus c2 bar curl u2 bar curl x plus c3 bar curl uh, u3 so here is u3 u3 bar over curl x <coughs> so this is for ith component comparison same right jth and k component <coughs> this thing will be more clear to you if you do this on your own so now again please pause this video and try this on your own j and kth component now uh, i'm leaving this as an exercise for you okay okay uh, i hope you had done that j and k component okay uh, now just uh, using our previous equation i named this equation a and uh, substituting this uh, curl u bar p value here for 1 2 and 3 and uh, equating this equation and see here c1 curl u1 x plus c2 curl u2 over curl x plus c3 curl u3 over curl x is equals to c1 bar curl u1 bar x 
given var x means we have to substitute here p is equals to 1 then this whole equation for p is equals to 1 which will be curl uh, u bar 1 over curl u1 curl u1 curl x plus curl u bar 1 over curl u2 curl u2 over curl x plus curl u bar 1 over curl u3 curl u3 over curl x and then again c2 bar put p is equal to 2 here curl u bar 2 over curl u1 curl u1 curl x plus curl u bar 2 curl u2 curl u2 over curl x plus curl u3 u2 sorry curl u3 curl u3 over curl x plus c3 coefficient c3 bar and then again for p is equals to 3 this whole thing again curl u3 bar curl u1 curl u1 over curl x plus curl u3 bar over curl u2 curl u2 over curl x and uh, curl u3 bar over curl u3 curl u3 over curl x okay now uh, equating the coefficients uh, curl u1 x to this side we will get this one this one and this one so c1 equals to c1 bar curl u1 bar over curl u1 plus c2 bar curl u2 bar over curl u1 plus c3 bar curl u3 bar over curl u1 same as this um, find out the coefficient c2 and c3 okay and after that when you came to know these all coefficients c1 c2 and c3 uh, more briefly we can write them as cp summation from cq bar curl u q say curl u p where q uh, is from 1 to 3 and p is going from 1 to and 3 <coughs> due to symmetry we can change the c's and c bars c bars okay due to symmetry we can change them so this above equation can also be written as c bar p is equal to summation q 1 2 3 c q curl q curl u bar p where again p is from 1 to 2 1 2 and 3 okay uh, if these quantities c1 c2 c1 c2 and c3 of coordinate system u1 u2 u3 are related to three other quantities c1 bar c2 bar and c3 bar of another coordinate system u1 bar u2 bar and u3 bar by these two things by these two equations then quantities are component of covariant tensor of first rank okay these are quantities of covariant tensor of first rank as i told you about the covariant tensor of rank uh, one which is just from p1 to 3 let me define uh, and increase all these quantities from uh, up to n okay covariant tensor of first rank okay if n quantities uh, n quantities a1 
say a2 up to an uh, where previously i uh, took c1 c2 and uh, cn quantities you can also take them also <coughs> in coordinate system x1 x2 f2 xn are related to another quantities quantities a1 bar a2 bar up to an bar in coordinate system and uh, these quantities in means these a1 a2 an in coordinate system x1 x2 up to xn are related to another quantities a1 bar a2 bar an in uh, coordinate system coordinate system x1 bar x2 bar and up to x n bar by the transformation equation by the transformation equation like this a p bar equals to q1 to n curl x q over curl x bar p a q where now p is from 1 to n and q is from 1 to uh, n if you are not uh, getting my point just see uh, those previous uh, uh, equations to get my point and uh, same uh, for um, if we draw this summation by Einstein's convention then this will be look like this now covariant rank of uh, covariant tensor of second rank second rank covariant tensor second rank of covariant tensor now uh, in previous we have n quantities of a1 a2 and an now uh, if n square quantities n square quantities say aqs in coordinate system x1 x2 and xn are related to quantities quantities a bar pr in coordinate system x1 bar x2 bar up to xn bar by transformation equation by transformation equation like this a bar pr equals to summation q 1 to n summation q oh sorry let me take another subscript for this as 1 to n curl x q curl x bar p and curl x s or curl x bar r e q s okay because the transformation is from a dot a bar p r to a q s and, uh, and that's how it takes place you can easily figure it, figure it out from here that previously we just put this thing but just no thing SNR. and if uh, you are going to the above third rank then just add one more suffix and uh, differential here for that quantity to justify the third order rank where p and r is from one two and n by Einstein convention we can drop them and uh, a bar p r will be look like this curl x q over curl x bar p curl x s for curl x bar r a q s they are called <coughs> they are called covariant tensor of second rank covariant rank <coughs> covariant tensor of second rank <coughs> and uh, like this you can also increase the rank of the tensor um, 
in the same way just by increasing that these uh, <coughs> uh, differentials okay thank you